yeah, boy. Hi, Snickies. It's me, Beefy, and I'm back. I'm back again today with another NCT Dream reaction for you guys. I'm finally here to react to NCT Dream's Christmas album, NDMV. Um, I did originally intend to react to this on the day it was released, which was supposed to be, I think like it was originally supposed to be the 19th and then they changed it. Um, and I, and I, I was gonna react to it on the day it was released early as well. I can't articulate myself properly, um, but I was sick unfortunately, so I'm only just getting around to it now. Thank you to those of you who've been patient and haven't been like, commenting and messaging me, lo messaging me loads, but I'm here now. Um, in this video, I'm going to be reacting to the uh, title track NMV, which is called Candy, and then the first two B-sides, Graduation and Tangerine Love, and then the three remaining B-sides will be in a separate video. I'm super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, let's go. So we're starting off with NCT Dreams, Candy, MV. Let's go. I'm loving the aesthetics already. Ooh. Love that scratching. Is it a 90s robot book? What is this cheese? It's giving me first gen. Is it? Is it? Is it hot? Is it tea?
god, stop, that was so much fun. Please. Oh my god, that was so much fun. I'm sure that's like a hot H-O-T. Um, I'm sure that's like a, it's like a, it's a cover of an original song. And as well, I'm, I'm convinced because they're like the styling, like the gloves. I'm sure they're wearing that sort of stuff in the original MV. Um, I should have just checked. I could just check now, but you know me, I'm lazy. We, we all know what it is by this point, okay? Um, that was so much fun. Honestly, as much as I love like how NCT Dream have like grown into themselves, I don't expect them to make the same music they made when they first debut like chewing gum right but i loved the way they pulled off those concepts like chewing gum is one of my favorite nct dream title tracks no lie it's just i can't explain it they just pull it off so well and i just wanted to say as well like mark lee how does that boy how does that man pull off every single concept under the sun like a breeze he just fits in so naturally into whatever whatever group, whichever unit he's in, whether and whether it's solo Markley as well, he just he's like a chameleon. He just like he just fits everything so well. That was super fun. I love the aesthetics. Um let's go on to the first two B-sides. Okay guys, let's go. So the first B-side is called Graduation. Let's go.
song it's not something that i personally put on and listen to because it's just not really like my style of song but it was stunning like it was breathtaking it was so well written like the melodies were so stunning um the instrumentation as well was lovely like i said there was that electric guitar that kept popping in every now and then it sounded fantastic uh, i heard some strings i don't know if it was a cello or violin also those really low piano chords were stunning also there was those sounds in the beginning that i kept trying to point out but i'm not sure exactly what it was like i think it must have been like a uh, synth or something like that um also i find it interesting how they were just like bunging it up with the rapping like their flows were like incredible which essentially sometimes that could go wrong with that type of song like usually you want something a little bit more I don't know, a little bit more softer in terms of a rap, but I feel like the way they was going hard with their flow in that, it just worked really, really well. Um, that was really, really pretty. They sounded fantastic. I'm not really... Am I showing my bias? Am I showing my biasness right now? Uh, that was stunning. Uh, very heartfelt, warm. It was very comforting. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, let's go next up. We have Tangerine Love. Favourite. You're my favourite. Let's go. The night that you love. my favorite. Oh, you're my favorite, baby. Oh, hey. No, no, no. 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 Excuse me? Vibes, are you kidding me? Every single thing about that. The synthery, it's not a word, but we're making a word. Okay, the synthery, 
Did you hear the synthery? Did you hear the vocals? They were giving us a soul. Was that London? Was that London? Go hit that. I'm assuming it was. Are you kidding me? Bro, do you know what it was giving me? Do you know what it gave? It took me to the same place as EXO's The Star. Because it's Christmas vibes. Christmas R&B soul vibes. Do, do you know what I mean? And it had like that upbeat vibe as well. It reminded me of The Star. Any XOL watching this, you will know exactly what I mean. You will know exactly the vibe I mean. And you know how much I love The Star. It's about to be one of my favourite Christmas um, K-pop songs, bro. That was so good. Oh my goodness. I love that so much. Uh, that's the end of part one. I will see you for part two. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Go and follow me on Instagram, guys. Go and follow me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye. Oh!